intended to fashion fashion or intended to fashion against me this year stop my prosper a quarter paleta any weapon of fashion or intended to fashion to stop my testimony this year in the name of Jesus you shall not prosper Worship Yeshua Mashiach. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Begin to exalt the name of Jesus. Begin to exalt the name of Jesus. Begin to exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, Rama Kabbalah Namasha. He is worthy of our worship. Can you open your mouth and begin to worship Jesus? Open your mouth and begin to worship Jesus. Open your mind and begin to worship Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
look for a neighbor? You want to look for a neighbor? Are you ready to take it one more time? Who is ready? Give the Lord a shot. I don't know. What? Two, three, seven. Here you go, go, Oh, yeah, man, I'm 
morning you will receive your miracle this morning in the name of Jesus can we just get out an offering let's get out an offering your offering is part of the service viewers all over the world is a good Friday miracle service so connect with your offering can we just lift it up thank you father we ask, O oh God, that this offering is blessed. Your hands are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed.
Come on, make some noise for Jesus. Are you excited this morning? Come on, shake your body and make some noise for Jesus. Hallelujah. Children of God. Children of God. Wonderful children. Yeah. Omega children. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Somebody make some noise for Jesus. Children of God. Will you shout hallelujah? Yeah. Shout hallelujah for the Lord five times. Say. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hey. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Yeah. Shout hallelujah for the Lord five times. Say. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Say you are God. Say you are God. Hey. From beginning to the end, there's no place, there's no place for argument. Hey. You are God all by yourself. Hey. You are God. Say you are Woo. God. Hey. From beginning to the end, there's no place. There's no The master king. Jesus started with prayer and ended in prayer. Prayer is the master king. Hallelujah. Started in prayer and ended in prayer. Prayer is the master key. Hallelujah. Prayer is the key. Hey. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this day. We bless you for your grace and glory. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your presence. Lift your hands and just pray in the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. He got a little bit of 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 a little b
Look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and for your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. Look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and for your love. You look beyond me, oh. You have showed mercy. You have showed me mercy. You have showed me mercy. I'm the one that you have showed mercy. You have showed me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and for your love. You look beyond me. You look beyond me. Look past my sin, my guilt, my shame. And for your love, you look beyond me. You look beyond me. I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown. your mercy. Jesus name. Amen. John chapter 18. Take your seat. John chapter 18 verse 5. John chapter 18 verse 5. They answered him Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Jesus answered, I am he. And Judas, which betrayed him, stood with them. And Judas stood with them. I'm sharing on, and Judas stood with them. And Judas stood with them. We are celebrating the resurrection of Christ, but as it were, Good Friday is termed as the day Jesus was killed. And there are several beliefs attached to today. When I became a Christian, I didn't know why they called it Good Friday. Somebody can die and you call it good. I honestly wasn't comfortable. I felt it should be bad Friday. But I understood later that his death was for our good. So it's called good. So that means there are good problems. Not all problems are bad. The problems 
that lead to your elevation is a good one. But we cannot talk, we all know that the, the, the resurrection of Christ was meant to achieve one thing. The resurrection of Christ was to, meant to achieve the shedding of blood, the death and the resurrection of Christ. In Romans chapter, sorry, Hebrews 9.22 rather, he said, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Why would Jesus have to die? Jesus had to die because his blood was important. The blood of a sinless, spotless man needed to be shed. And it had to be shed for everybody. God needed that blood to be spilled. So that everyone would become a beneficiary of his resurrection. When he died, we died. When he rose, we rose. That is why you can't shell animals' blood. Nobody should tell you to bring anything. For those who still patronize witch doctors. You are laughing. There are people in the church who still visit witch doctors. Some of them say they don't go to kill anybody, they go for protection. They visit native doctors, and the native doctors sit on the ground, consult. You see, you, are, you must be insane. How can somebody sitting on the ground carry your life up? If you, are, if, you are, if you are okay. I'm here to see any native doctor who has an office sitting on an executive chair and by the time you bring your case, you bring your problem, he goes to his laptop or, <laughs> or he brings his iPad or he has a management team. He has a management team that will sit down and look into your matter. The man sits down on the ground and you want him to carry you up. And what he does is that he rubs a white chalk on his face because if he leaves his face like that, you will fear him. So he has to put something to scare you. And the Bible said, they that worship charms and divinations are like them. You become like who you worship. When you worship God, you become like God. You worship native doctors. Have you noticed people that always patronize native doctors? Very soon they start looking like native doctors. Very horrible thing. Amen. You see a young man, he said, inherited herbalism from his father. That's the property your father gave you. The wealth he gave you is iron. Iron. Some irons and some cowries. Amen. Without the shed, so he had to die so that the blood will be shed. He said, but the Bible says, I want us to examine the process of his death. I want us to examine how Jesus picked a man. In fact, Jesus prayed all night. Luke chapter 6 from verse 12. Before he picked his disciples, he prayed all night. He, he did a vigil. And from that vigil, it was after that vigil, if you watch, read from verse 13, the Bible says he now chose 12. So before Jesus made the decision of destiny, he had to pray through the night. So one of the part of night prayer is helps, it helps you to make the right choices. When you're in the midst of a confusion, you don't know what to do. Just pray through the night. By the time you wake up in the morning, God will give you a level of acceleration and a level of grace and insight. So Jesus prayed and prayed to pick 12 disciples and yet he picked Judas. If he prayed all night to get clarity and yet he picked Judas, what would have happened if he didn't pray? 12 Judases. <laughs> He picked Judas. But this is it. Judas and Jesus were first cousins. If there was anybody that should protect Jesus, it should be Judas. To make matters worse, Jesus gave him the purse. Judas was in charge of the purse. He was holding the finances. To show how relevant, you see, to show how relevant he, he was. But when on the day of trial, all the disciples were with Jesus. All the apostles were with Jesus. The enemies of, Jude, of Jesus came. Those who wanted him dead. Those who wanted him dead. Came. There is nothing as shattering to find out that those you trusted are standing with those who want your life. I've told us before that betrayal is the only sin that only a friend can commit against you. Jesus opened up to Peter. Let me say this to you. When relating with people in your life, 
in life, when relating with people, be cautious. Knowing that one day they will leave you. Never relate with anybody with the mentality that they will be with you for life. Only let them see and know what they should know in case they leave. That's all they know. They're with you forever. Jesus followed Judas. Judas could not bring any more accusations. If Judas had an accusation on Jesus, the chief priest would not cook up accusation. Oh, you are not following what I'm saying? All the chief priests and the rulers, they had to cook up accusation. They brought men to accuse Jesus. And the Bible said the accusation could not agree with each other. So if Judas, who was close to Jesus, had anything negative he knew, that is what they would have leveraged on to accuse him. But there was nothing because Jesus didn't allow him to see much. You are not getting what I'm talking about. Jesus did not. The Bible says he did not commit, John chapter 2 verse 24. He did not commit himself to men because he knew men. There are times the disciples will be together Jesus will withdraw from them. If Judas, if Jesus so opened himself and gave so much access to his personality to Judas, the, 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 the Pharisees will not need to raise up false accusations. They will build on the accus accusation. Amen? There were times Jesus, when he wanted to have some conversation, because he knew the kind of people around him, he would send everybody away. Just imagine when, if Judas was around when Jesus was talking to the woman by the well. For more than, for hours, they were, Jesus sent all of them, go and buy food. Oh, you think he was not wise? If Judas was there, Judas said, ha! Ah, what we saw today. What am I saying? When relating with people, have a consciousness that one day, so the information they have access to is what they should run with. Betrayer. Betrayer is only common amongst men without conscience. Anybody that gives you a platform should be honored for life. Anybody that gives you a platform should be valued and respected for life. Anybody that God used to give you a, a, a leverage and beauty in your life deserves to be honored. <laughs> they deceived Judas. You know, there are some people eh, they think that life is a game. Some people actually think, let me tell you, do you know one of the reasons? Have you not asked yourself a question? How can you betray Jesus? Now they finally caught Jesus. Arrested him. Led him to the Sahendrin. And Judas was crying. He returned the money. I'll tell you why. Judas knew that Jesus was so powerful. So as far as he's concerned, he can collect the money. When they come, Jesus do, everybody faint. You know what I'm talking about. As far as Judas was concerned, they can't get my master. Let me call it. Sir, don't play around sin. You can't control it. Don't play around the devil. You can't con You didn't get what I said. Judas' mentality was once they come for Jesus, I know Jesus. He am, he's powerful. He's the God of all. That's why when Jesus was arrested, Judas was heartbroken. He was, in fact, he returned the money. When they returned the money, the men look at him. They, 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 see, whoever deceives you to betrayal is only using you. Anybody who deceives you to betray a benefactor is only using you. Stop thinking that people that push you to fight those who help you love you. There are people that cannot fight your helper. They need you to do the fighting. I wish I was talking to somebody here. They need you. So they will push you. And when they are, you are just like utility. When they are done, you face the consequence alone. Are you getting something here? Amen. It's okay to forgive, but avoid someone who betrays you twice. That was not the first time Judas was betrayed. If you read John chapter 12, when Jesus was, you know, somebody brought a gift to Jesus, 
an alabaster boss of ointment. If you read verse 6, the Bible says Judas reacted because he was a thief. Betrayer is gradual. In fact, oh, I'm, I wish I was saying something there. Somebody betrayed you a first time, you forgave, and you wait for a second time. You may not survive the second time. You may not survive the second time. This life, there's nobody you can't do without. Okay. There are three things you can't do without in life. Aside God. God is our life. We can't even talk about doing without God. God is our life. Amen? There are three things you can't do without. I'll mention them that you repeat after me. Are you ready? Number one, breath. Number one, breathing. Somebody say breathing. Number two, water. Number three, food. Ask your neighbor, is your name among them? Can I, <laughs> can I repeat myself? The first you can do without is what? Breathing. Second, water. Third, did you see anybody's name there? So what does that tell you? You can do without anybody. You can't do that three things. Number one, breathing. Number two, Water, number three, food. There's nobody's name there. If your name is water, then it's water spirit. You know, something's, something's wrong. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> so there is nobody you can do without. But you see, as I began to study, I began to learn. It was around evil people. That's one of the biggest problems. When you are around evil men, you cannot control their space. Judas tried himself later. Evil men know evil is bad. When Judas returned the money to them, they didn't take it. They threw it and bought a field with it. They knew what Judas did was wrong. Please outsmart your enemies. Don't let them use you. When people push you to do evil, ask them what happened to them. Can they do it? But well, this is my lesson. It's not only Judas that hurts Jesus. Three people hurt Jesus. You're all blaming Judas. Peter denied Jesus. Thomas doubted Jesus. <laughs> Judas betrayed Jesus. But there was something different about three of them. Peter denied Jesus. Yet he cried to Jesus. Thomas betrayed, Thomas doubted Jesus rather. Yet cry to Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus and hung himself. Don't let your mistake push you from God but let it take you to God. Don't let your mistakes or your errors push you from God but rather let it take you to God. When you offend God, go to God. When you make a mistake, go to God. You sin against God, go to God. Never let the devil push you to a point where you offend God, you make a mistake, and you are disconnected, you are dissociated, you are so broken, and you feel God can never show you pardon. I wish I was saying something here. Both of them regretted. Regretting your error is not enough. Repent and go to God. First John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let your troubles, let your errors, let your mistakes, let your your, 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 your your whatever form of sin, let it take you to God. When you offend God, go to God. Never get to a point where you offend God. You go to yourself. You go to tears. You go and you are weeping. No! Go to God. Stop offending God and going to yourself. You can't forgive yourself. Have you had some people say, this thing I've done, I can never forgive myself. As if they have, they have shed their blood. You have not heard that? Somebody will say, I can never forgive myself. Did you share your blood? When you offend God, go to God. He is faithful and just to forgive. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, his name shall be called Jesus and he shall save his people from their sins. When you offend God, go to God. Go to who? Go to who? To tell you have offended God. Offended God. When the devil makes you feel of guilt, ask the devil, is it you are offended? Are you the one to forgive me? So by the time you analyze your equation, Satan is not important. 
go to God because the, the devil will amplify your errors to make you feel God has turned his back on you. God has not turned his back on you. God loves you. Tell somebody God loves me. Say that to five people. Say that again. Say that again. You didn't say that. Well, say that again. Judas stood with them. Write this down. Some battles in life are unavoidable. You ask yourself about how come uh, if God, you know there are some people eh, when they are talking, you'll be wondering what happened to their brain. And uh, if God knows that Judah will betray, why did he not remove Judah? Somebody said, if God knows that Adam and Eve will eat the fruit, why did he plant that fruit? My own is that if God knows you'll be useless like this, why did he create you? That, that was too harsh. I'm sorry. Of all the things to think about, it's nonsense. Your brain is just busy thinking nonsense. <laughs> if God knows that, he will eat the fruit. Why did he? Now, let me tell you. God knew and God gave Adam enough power to resist it. Okay, if God knows that cars hit people and they die, why did he create you and create cars? Because you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> He knows you have enough sense to know how to avoid. That is what he expected Adam. He gave Adam enough willpower and told Adam what would destroy him. So Adam gave himself to the devil. Do you understand that? Some battle. So no matter how you fast and pray, if God has said there is a Judas in your life, there will be a Judas. How you handle betrayal is what matters. Some battles are, sir, fast, pray, do everything. There are some battles that are part of your life. Those battles will reveal a dimension of God that you will not have known in comfort. There are some battles that only reveal some battles toughen you. Toughen you. When you are too soft and God has a military assignment for you. When you are too civil minded and God has a military assignment for you. God wants you to be a spiritual militant. God will make you go through tough battles. One time, people were terrorizing a particular area. One of my sons who was a, the chief executive of a state, a governor, people, he was telling me a story. He said, people were terrorizing a particular area. So he sent some soldiers to go there to make sure there is calmness. Soldiers went there and killed two people. He was the governor. He became angry. Why would you go and kill? Why didn't you arrest? They say arrest. We are not trained to arrest though. They say we are trained to kill. They got there. Boy! So he was angry. He said that was the day he knew. He said, they said, we are not police. It's police that arrest. We are not trained. We don't arrest people. If there's a crisis, we knock down people. He said, so he vowed he will never send them on any assignment. Why? Because of their training. It affects their thinking. It affects how prepared they are. There are some of you who are so calm and gentle. God will allow some things to happen to change your mindset about life. Because if you allow you to go the way you are going, enemies will pluck you cheaply. You are not getting me at all. If not for some training some of you went through, you won't understand that you have to know how to keep quiet. You talk like paro. I'm not traveled, you already posted it. You are going to Abuja. You have posted Abuja on my mind. You have not gone to Lagos. Lagos. So you have done so much by reason of what you have gone through now. You take people by surprise. You don't even let them know your plans. Some battles are to toughen you. Some battles are to prepare you. If you watch Jesus, he behaved himself around Judas. Okay, among the twelve, he will withdraw himself. Who will he be with? Peter, James. Did you, did you see Judas there? Are you not supposed to be with your treasurer? If there's anybody you should put among your inner carcass, is it not your treasurer? But he didn't carry because Jesus knew him. 
that this guy is a betrayer. Judas liked money. So they gave him money. Thinking what they gave him would satisfy him. Yet he still stole money until he sold Christ. Nothing can satisfy a greedy person. A greedy person, give him the world. Open the vault of Central Bank. He will finish it and go to World Bank. Nothing. Some of you ask yourself, you see a corrupt leader. A leader that is corrupt. He has stolen so much money. You're surprised. Is he come again? Is he stealing money? And you say, ah, ah, ah. These people, no. That's greed. The man has bought so much houses for himself. Now he has access to power. He wants to buy houses for his children. He buys houses for all his children. He has access to power again. He's thinking of houses for his grandchildren. He bought for his grandchildren. He's thinking of his in-laws. Greed. People have, they have insatiable appetite. They have greed in them. They are never satisfied. So you must get to understand it. So I know some of you are praying, Father, why? Father, why? You see, can I say this to you? I don't want to scare you. Amen. When you go through battles, learn the lesson. Forget the reason. Stop saying, why? Oh Lord, what is the reason? No. Learn the lesson. Forget the reason. When you go through battles in life, learn. There is no battle. Battles will repeat themselves until you learn. I wish I was talking there. I want to tell you something now. This is a very good thing. No? What I want to tell you now. It's a very, very good thing. So, you are still writing. Are you sure? Sometimes, this is a very good thing. <laughs> Sometimes, the prayer you pray to avoid trouble God hears the prayer and gives you grace to go through trouble. Lord, may this never happen. God said, Amen. What God actually heard was, as I go through this, may I survive? If not, how come you pray certain prayer, certain things still happen? It's because sometimes God will not deliver you from evil. He will deliver you in evil. You allow you go through it, you be in the evil, you be in the battles, and in the battle, God shows up. In the trial, God shows up. In the temptation, God shows up. When it appears everything is against you, God shows up. That is why the woman with the issue of blood, I applaud her, not because she touched Jesus. I applaud that after 12 years, she still knew there's a healer. 12 years, she was a survivor. After 12 years, she still knew that God is able to heal. Some battles in life, pray from now till next year. It cannot be avoided. The prayer you are praying only gives you grace to survive it. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody? Everything you go through is ordained by God. Everything. If God ordained it, you can't avoid it. If God ordained it, you can't escape it. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him. Psalm 34, 19, 20 and 21. From them all, he keepeth all his bones, and none shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. God will allow certain people to treat you funny, so that your eyes will be open to know how humans are. One of the things Jesus learned before ministry began, he knew all men. If you see all that translation, he said he knew how fickle men are. How fickle. John 2, 24. Bring out translations and let's see. He knew how fickle. John chapter 2, verse 24. Jesus did not commit himself to, unto men, unto them, because he knew all men. Jesus did not entrust his life to them. He knew them inside out. Knew how untrustworthy. But Jesus, for his part, did not entrust himself to them because he knew all people and understood the superficiality and fickleness of human heart. Jesus did not entrust himself to them because he knew how fickle the human hearts are. All this best friend, best friend, best friend is what destroys life. 
All this bestie, 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 bestie is what destroys homes. It's what destroys minds. Love people, but don't trust in them. For God so loved the world. Not for God so trust the world. If the man who made man says he understood men and didn't trust men, the man who made man, the manufacturer of a product, say, this is my product, I don't trust it to... Then you that's, you, you that's using the product, you now trust the product. Is something not wrong with you? It's like smoking. Those who made tobacco will tell you that smokers, they are the ones who made it. In other words, just as we sell this thing, you are free to come and... The one who is the manufacturer, who made men, said, I know men. Jeremiah 17 verse 9. He said, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Let's see what other translations have to say. Who can? The heart is hopeless. Oh, this is harsh. <laughs> this is too harsh. The heart is hopelessly dark and deceitful. A puzzle no one can figure out. The heart is deceitful above all things and it's extreme, extremely sick. Who can understand it, it fully and know its secret motives? Who can understand the human heart? There is nothing else so deceitful. It is too sick. Too sick to be healed. The human heart. There are some battles in your life, sir. If Jesus did not choose Judas, we would have thought everything went rosy for him. There are some mistakes you made. Don't kill yourself about it. Learn from it. There are some steps you have taken. Don't weep over those steps. Learn from the steps. You have found yourself in some situations now where a lot of things have happened and you are asking yourself, you are, no, don't regret, sit down. Where did I make a mistake? Learn from it. There are some battles in life that are what? Unavoidable. I want to make this declaration to you as we celebrate this season. That every mistake you've made that you are currently mourning, may God show you a way out of it. Take your seat. There are some battles that are on avoid them. In Luke chapter 22 verse 48. Luke 22:48. But Judas, but Jesus said unto Judas, "Betrayest thou the son of man with what? With what? With what? No matter the physical show of love, still be sensitive. No matter the physical show or display of love, be sensitive. People who have been killed, people who have been used and wasted, they were wasted on the platform of their greed. That is why anybody that is duped, I have no pity for you. Anybody they dupe, because you have to be greedy to be duped. They say drop 20,000 and in less than 24 hours you get 1 million in Nigeria under this government. You now give them the dupe you. I know pity you because you are greedy. You, you wanted to steal from someone. You think, you think people have not tried to do that to me? Oh, let me tell you a story. Somebody told me there's one business they are doing and sent me a message and said if I drop 1.5 million that in less than three days, I'm going to get 15 million. I say, wow, that would be good for the work of God. He said, yes. I said, so what do I do? He said, they're going to provide me an account. Can you imagine? So dull. You never sabi thief. See, see, the, see the lame. Yeah, yeah. See the lame. I said, this one, we'll play the game. So he said to me that I should, he will send an account number. I should send it. They will send me. If I have a WhatsApp, they will send me some of the process of this thing. I gave him. He sent me everything. I said, wow, wow. This is good, though. I said, what if I put more than 1.5? He said, that your profit will increase. I said, wow. And I said, there's a problem. He said, what? I said, I do not do transfer, I do cash. That the person, I would have given money. I need to send money to his account. So he can rush to my banker. But the truth is that I do not have the money now. 
that will send him an account. If you can send like 100K. So that account. So, <laughs> so I can now, to the person's account, so I can tell the person to go and withdraw the cash and bring it to wherever it is. He said, okay, I just send the account. I send the account. He said the 100K. I said, so me and you, me and you now can do for one now. I said, I said, can't you see that? I said, can't you see you are a baby, baby for one nine? I said, I've just collected your 100,000 cheaply. He started sending message. Okay, if you go to refund my money, I said, me, refund this money. I will dash somebody. You took it from... That guy is his, is his, is his favor. You want to me? You, you, you didn't even package it well. So I told him, I said, this is your... This is your... He actually called me. Uh, the thing is that the way they are going to, as I see your, see your 419 voice. If you want to do good, have good, proper English, use better vocabulary. And uh, the, the thing is that when you now said the man, is, like, is that the voice for Yahoo? I said, Can you see these people that do all this nonsense? They'll look for a lady that has a good voice. I said, Learn where, package your, this is your criminal, they'll quick at you. The thing is that uh, if you not drop that money like that, uh, uh, they'll not give you, as they see, your local, your Hausa quarter voice that you want to use to do people. Amen. Fraud is evil. Fraud is evil. Fraud is. Am I talking to somebody here? Greed. There are some people. Show of love. Anything that is too good to be true is not true. Somebody just come, bam. A young man, bam. He has cars. He's good looking. He's a graduate. He has job. He has money. He has everything. And he's over 40. And he's not married. He's not in love with you. Oh, so you are the one he has been waiting for. <laughs> yes. You are the one he has been waiting for since. You don't have sense. Enter now. What other lady saw and they ran? When a man has been single that long and he has everything. Don't let him lie to you that he's waiting for something. There's something people saw. Despite his money. They said no. No. I can't. I can't. But people are not wise. When they see such a thing, come and see. I wish I said something here. When it's too good to be true, sometimes some expressions of love, there are some, whenever things appear, people appear like they are cutting their arm for you. They appear like they are cutting their head and, or ripping off their hearts for you. Become sensitive. That is what killed the young prophet in 1 Kings 13. The Lord said, don't eat. A man came and said, where you left, God spoke to me. How? God told you not to eat. Somebody else now comes and said, the Lord told me to tell you to eat. What stopped you from going back to the Lord? To say, Lord, oh, you told me not to eat. Now, this man says that. That is what happened when you are carried away by emotions. Sometimes you can be so carried away by emotion, you forget to discern. Let's be honest. And I want us to be honest. There are some of you that eat without praying. Talk through now. Talk through. Talk through. You just. Hey. You, you, have, <laughs> you have taken one. Eh? You don't bite, don't cut one, don't chop one. Say, hey, if I don't remind you, say you didn't pray. Just to pray, uh, I pray for mine. You didn't pray, <laughs> you didn't pray anywhere. But you know, especially, you let your guards down when you are around people you think you trust. One day, my father and the Lord, Pastor Adeboye, was having a crusade somewhere. And I was privileged to be one of the protocols. In fact, I volunteered to be one of the protocols. I was with him in the car when we were going to the venue of the program. So I said, why will I just be following? What am I doing? I'll just stand as if, no, this one is my father. So I need to, I need to walk around him. So I was helping him. I was shielding. When he came down from the car, everybody was coming to touch him. So me, I saw that some of them were hitting me. Me, I was protecting, not knowing that they were happy that me, I was available. I said, if you stop eating me, they say, ah, you are the one who want to touch. So they were doing that. So we did, we shielded him from there and shielded him to the car. He was like, why are you doing? I said, no, sir. I want to. We shielded. As we entered the car, I, was, I saw pastors pulling my clothes. Pastors, top pastors. 
So I became very angry. There was one as if, if I, if I, so I saw my father was looking at <laughs> See, if I, if I blow your face, he was looking at me. So he said something to me. He was laughing when I got it because he saw that I was angry. So one even bruised my, I mean, it was crazy. They were pulling and all that. He said, you were trying to protect from those people. He said, yes. <laughs> he said, learn to pray this prayer. As what prayer, sir? He said, oh Lord, deliver me from my friends. I can handle my enemies. <laughs> He said, because these ones you think are your problem are not your problem. All the members who are wanting to touch you are not your problem. Is this one you think have sense? Sometimes you must be more careful of your friends than your enemies. Because you already know what to expect from your enemies, but you don't know what to expect from your friends. You already know what an enemy will do. But you don't know what a friend. If I tell you stories, you'll be amazed. What a friend can do what a friend will do. Kissing is a sign of love, but somebody used it to communicate hatred. Uh, Jesus knew the heart of Judas, yet he washed his feet. Sir, me, I know you are going to betray me. Wash your feet. I will break. I will break your leg. She now said, I wash everybody's feet. And I get to the turn of Judas. So this is the leg that we use to bring people. Before you betray me, this leg, I will cut it. I will carry a blade. Cut still. But Jesus knew. Yet he washed his feet. Be careful. Don't let your guards down. Don't be swayed by public show of love. Real love is not loud. Why kissing him in public? What are you trying to prove? Real love. If the people that really love you in public may appear like they don't love you. There are some people, once they tell you they are lawyer, please call your lawyer. <laughs> Real love is not loud. Those who are dancing around, dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. And that's why the current young man and young woman, those who were born in the um, 90, 90s, right? And the 2000s, the 90s, mid 90s, late 90s. And if you watch their life, it's, the, it's drama. Somebody wants to propose marriage to you. You now go and carry one thing. You will now take it to one garden. You know, you will now inform people. All of them will be there. He come with a ring and he's walking like Robocop. And he's going, next thing. Ta-da! Then you are here. And then they have some other jobless people that should be at home washing plates. They are shouting, say yes! Say yes! Say yes! Then you now come out. You know, you know, you know. You now be pretty, oh my God! Oh my God! They now hold this thing. He now say, put it, put it. They now go with one knee. That's somebody who has planned that they are not to destroy your heart. It's already. You now go on your knees. You now say, bring your hand. You now put it. Oh my God. Then you now post it. See, guess what, guys? I'm engaged. Then all the witches and wizards who forgot you before. Guess what? After, <laughs> after two years, premium tears, men has come. <laughs> but check our fathers. There were no garden. There was no rose. No rose flower. But their marriage still intact. Real love is not loud. We live in a generation that likes validation. Validation. Real love is not loud. Those that keep homes, it's not loud. Sometimes when it's so loud, be careful. You see, when I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to you life experiences. Not only scripture. In this church, I tell you about life so that you can have sense, you can be wise. It's not loud. Take your enemies by surprise. Learn to be private. Let people not predict you. It's a security. If you are with security people, if they are going to London, they'll tell you they are going to Lagos. You can't predict them. But no, anything you want to do is out there. Before you even do it, it's out there. And there are people who have become victims of deception. Stretch your hand. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you on this occasion, you will not be deceived. You will not be manipulated. You will not be deceived. 
You will not be manipulated. Take your seat. Real love is not loud. Kissing is a sign of love and somebody was using that to communicate hatred. Oh. Did you see something there? Eh? Some people's closeness to you is to send a message to others who hate you. Some people's closeness, proximity. I know her. I know her. Do you know how many, how many of my daughters here in church who I have had to stand to defend? Time to get married. The guy is not talking to them anymore. And he said, Dad, this guy is not calling me again. I said, what happened? When I do my investigation, close friends. There is one like that. The boy was arguing. She brought the guy to me. I approved it. And later the boy said, the message, sorry, daddy, I can't marry her again. I said, why? She said, she's married. I said, who is married? This one. I watched this girl grow. Marry who? Where? She has been my sight. I have no time. Daddy, she's married. Daddy, this, 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 she lied. Her closest friend went to the guy and said, hey, why you, you want to use second hand? This one has been married before. I said, marry where? The young man came. I was arguing, arguing. I said, I don't understand. I pastored this person. Nothing like that. But as the friend did that, the friend was still standing with smile, using that closeness to communicate that I'm, I know her. When a generation find out things for yourself, stop saying this person close to this person told me. People can be close to people and yet destroy the people. Find out things for yourself. It, are you getting something? Are you getting something? Who, who, who sold Joseph? Who? Who killed Abel? So if a blood brother, blood brothers could do that, expect what friends can do. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 6. What are these wounds in your hand? I was wounded in the house of my friend. I was wounded. Psalm 41 verse 9. My own familiar friend who I trusted has lifted up his hand against me. My own familiar friend whom I trusted which did eat of my bread has lifted up his hand against me. Has lifted up his hand. I can go on and on but this is a service to make you learn and I'm sure you have learned something. When people overwhelm you with love, overwhelm you with so much care, overwhelm you with so much gift, still have a brain to think. Still have a brain. Hiya. Still have a brain. One of our daughters in the north, she went to the north to do a project, went back to the state she's in. She grew up here, was in a department here, and somebody came to her with a brand new car. A young man, she said, thank you. A young man came and gave her lots of money, millions of naira. She said, thank you. Started giving millions to people around her. She comes and said, Dad, I'm confused. You pray for favor, but this is not favor. This cannot be favor. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I said, okay, let's keep praying. Was putting pressure on the young lady. Give me an answer, give me an answer. What do you want? Mention it. Mention anything you want. He said, wait. My father and the Lord has not spoken. Put pressure. He said, give me his number. To father the lost number. Greeted me, greeted me. He said, sir, can you send me an account? I said, no, I don't do that. Come and see me first. Drove down. Came in, checked into somewhere. Sunday was there. Brought some money. The other day I said, calm down. I'm not a biological father. I'm only a pastor. Why are you giving me all this? She says, anything you say is what's done. I said, this one will not work because you are trying to give me money to say something. So I sent a message to her. I said, the car, have you driven it? He said, yes, sir. Be prepared to return it. Because the anger with which this young man left here. Young man left there. Everybody they have given money, they began to arrest them one by one. To return all their monies. She returned the car. She returned some of the money. She spent some of them. They had to raise some. To... He had a mission. He had an agenda. Some of you don't know the value of your life. That's why when some people give you things, you think, eh, eh. What? You are bigger than that thing they are giving you. So you are not aware. That was what saved her. Because she found that this young man came all the way from the north. The father died. And they told her the exact person they want as a sacrifice. She fit into it. 
came all the way down to where she was. When she found that she started crying. As when I talked to a few young ladies, I said, thank God for gift, thank God for money, but anybody outside the kingdom is a risk. So they said, uh, can somebody marry? Is it common somebody my mind in Christian? Some Christian are evil. Some Christian, their mind is bad. Oh. The worst Christian is better than the best unbeliever. If they sense it like a worst Christian anyway. <laughs> they sense it like a worst Christian. I don't know how that how that connects. But that person in church who is still accountable to somebody. And every one of us needs to brace up. There is a cross to carry. If you have a throne, you must carry a cross. If you have royalty as your destiny, you must have finance as your passage. Job 23 verse 10. He knoweth the way that I take when he has tried me. I shall comfort as God. If God is your choice, then furnace must be your passage. Get ready to go through the fire. If God is your choice, he said, I have refined thee. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. God is not raising up domestic children. He's raising up carnivorous sons. And he's doing that by making them militarize. Making them go through trials. So that nothing will shock them. Nothing will escape them. Someone cried to me some weeks back. Daddy, people want to kill me. He was talking and talking. People want to kill him. They came after him. While he was done, I said, have you eaten something? So you didn't hear what I'm saying. I'm not talking of food now. People want to kill. I said, have you, have you finished talking? Have you eaten something? You want, they'll take you downstairs, you eat. You come up and we'll see before I leave. He said, no, sir. I laughed. You know why I could look at him like that and ignore what he has said? I've passed through it. It's nothing. I've been there. So I'm qualified to talk to him about it because I've passed through it. When it was done, the way I handled it, before I left, there was smiling, he was laughing, he was excited. He said, I can't believe. He said, I came here heavy hearted. I said, it's nothing. I've passed through it. There are some things God will make you pass through so that when others are going through it, you can stand with them. What was heavy on Jesus was not the wood. Oh. No. The wood was not a problem with Jesus. He was a carpenter. Oh. The wood was not Jesus' problem. He was a carpenter. It was the shame. Everyone that is hung on the cross then was a criminal. And that's how you sentence armed robbers, condemned criminals. He was carrying, being on that cross with thieves on the right and on the left. It was what made the cross heavy was the shame. There are men that can stay, they and their husband, they can stay without children. They understand themselves, knowing that God will answer them one day. It is what people are saying. It is the statements of people. There are some ladies who are enjoying their singlehood, they are not married. They are enjoying their singlehood. They are having a good time. They are okay. But when they start hearing people throw as passion, how old are you? What are you waiting for? The cross is heavy because of the shame. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Hebrews 12 2. Bring it up. Who for the joy Looking unto Jesus, unto and finish of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising what? The shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. There's a cross to carry if you want to be great. There are some problems. Do you know why God will allow some problems to prolong so that everybody will know about it? So that when you are lifted, nobody will say they were not aware. Sometimes before God advertises your testimony, we publicize your pain. We allow people ridicule. Hannah! Penina, the Bible says, provoked Hannah. Penina was the second wife. Hannah was the first wife. The man loved Hannah so much. 
Penina was a wife of necessity. Loved Hannah so much. So Penina would provoke Hannah. There are some, some women like that. Hannah had no child. Penina had up to four. So, so let's, let's enter their house now. Penina is looking for somebody to buy sugar. So she will call all the children. Uh, Anna, James, John, Emmanuel, who is there? Let her know they are for. Hannah had no one, no child. But when God came for her, only one child that God gave her. She had four others, there were five. But only one God gave her was the whole city. Only one. The honor to say she was the mother. There are some of you, the honor that's coming your way will be more than the shame you went through. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. Like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall in thoughts of me above like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thoughts of me Lay behind the stone. Lay behind the stone. You live to die. You live to die. Rejected and alone. Rejected and alone. Like a rose. Like a rose. Trampled on the ground. You took the fall. And taught of me. You live to die. You live to die. Rejected and alone. Rejected and alone. Like a rose. Trampled on the ground. You took the fall. You took the fall. And thought of me. And thought of me. I am your own. I am your own. Till the day you will come. Jesus, I am your own. I am your own. I am your own. Day you will come, on. Jesus. I am your own. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my uncle for life. Oh, if you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my uncle for life. Oh, we are going to pray for the baptism of the spirit of discernment. The baptism. Solomon, Solomon, listen. Solomon didn't ask for wisdom. Solomon asked for a discerning heart. God gave him wisdom. What Solomon asked for was a discerning heart. A discerning heart. But he became a wise man. 
So once you have discernment, discernment is the proof of wisdom. Discernment is the peak, the zenith of wisdom. Is discernment. What Solomon asked the Lord for was a discerning heart. We pray. I received them in this season, Lord. I received the baptism of the spirit of discernment. I received the baptism of the spirit of discernment. I received the baptism of the spirit of say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it louder. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I be begin to pray as i begin to pray in this season in this season i receive, I receive the, baptism the baptism of the spirit of discernment open your mouth and turn that to prayer I receive the baptism. to you we all talk about judas but people don't talk about peter who denied him and who thomas who doubted him judas betrayed peter denied thomas doubted but the difference between three of them is what 
is what? Thomas did doubted but came to Jesus. Peter denied but ran back to Jesus. Judas betrayed and hung himself. So your problems and your errors should not take you from God. They should take you to him. Whatever it is that you've done, go to him. Go to him. It doesn't matter what it is. Go to him. And there are some of us right here who there are certain things, some mistakes, some errors. When you remember them, it taunts you. It haunts you. It breaks you. It's like a burden. You have prayed about it, but this guilt still overwhelms you. You're asking God for that grace to totally let go. If you're in that category, I will pray with you now as you raise your right hand. Your, this guilt. Father, as your hands are lifted, mercy. 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 Let mercy overwhelm us. Have mercy. In your loving kindness, have mercy upon your people whose hands are lifted up today. And give them a new beginning. In Jesus' name. Amen. When peace like a river attended my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my lot Thou hast taught me to say it is well, it is well, we must go When peace like a river attended my way When sorrows like easy billows rose Oh, whatever my lot Thou hast taught me to say It is well, it is well With my soul It is well It is well with my soul. It is well with your soul. By that blood that was shed, I speak healing to your body. Speak healing to your body. I speak healing to your life. Healing to your status. Healing to all that concerns you. Healing your mind, body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you, Perusha Tenamangra. A closed womb has just been opened. Who is Teresa? Who is Teresa? If your name is Teresa, who is Teresa? Don't waste my time. Who is Teresa? Egu. Egu.
What's your name? Who is Gideon? Is there somebody who has Gideon among the names? Is that you? Come. Where are you from? God has opened the door for you. And every door God opens stays open. That is why I said, I said before you an open door, which no man can shut. So every door God opens stays open. In the name of Jesus, the door stays open. The Lord says, you ask somebody, the report of God or the report of the doctor, which do you believe? God's report will stand firm in your life. Help her, help her, help her, help her. God's report will stand firm. That which God has spoken. Someone's heart is getting attention. God is healing somebody with a heart problem. Grace of God. The grace of God. Just lift your hand. And I know it is the presence of the Lord that is a fresh expression. On its face, and I know it is the glory oh, of the Lord. Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet. From Lee God, stay right here with us. Feeling us with your love. We lift our hands in praise Without a doubt we know We have been revived When we shall leave this place Someone is being healed There is somebody you have something you have been treating, you treat it, it comes back again, you treat it, it comes back again. Who is that person? I just saw someone. Is that you? Run, run, come, come, come. It's a young boy. What is it? You treat it, it comes back again. Now lift your hands, everybody. Let me tonight we have a we have a, 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 a miracle vigil. So for those of you who have so many challenges, we're spending time tonight to be able to address them in the vigil. So we have time for all of that in our vigil today. And Sunday morning, we have a miracle service. So, we are believing God for great things to happen. We are not rushing. We are not in a hurry. We'll take our time. Aya. Who has pile? The Lord says somebody has been healed of pile. Who is that? It's a woman somewhere there. Is that you? Come. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. You are the glory and the lifter up of my head. The very present help in times of need. You are Messiah, Messiah, Messiah. You are Messiah, Messiah, Messiah. I bless you, the blessing of God. 
and I decree by the blood of Jesus let it be a new season for you let the grace of God rest upon you all your battles are over for those watching around the world from different of our satellite churches I speak an extension of grace to you an extension of blessings to you that you begin to do well and increase and prosper beyond your dreams in Jesus name don't forget tonight we are coming back 10 p.m. for those watching around the world make sure you connect with us hold an offering in your hand let's celebrate today let's be upstanding Offerings are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. I love you so, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. Darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, Jesus, you are wonderful. I love you so much, Oh my darling, darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Darling Jesus, oh my darling. I can't count on you when all that forsake me. Ah. Now you, they give me joy, they give me grace, they give me life. So I thank you, my Jesus. I thank you, my Lord, darling Jesus. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus. Oh my darling, oh, my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful love. I love you. Love you so, oh, darling Jesus. Oh my darling, oh, my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful Say, darling Jesus. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus. Oh my darling. Oh, my darling. Everybody testify you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. Jehovah. You are good. So everybody testify you are so good you are good you are good you are good I join the angel testify you are good I join the angel testify you are good when the angel testify, you are good. You are good, Jehovah. So everybody testify. Everybody testify, you are good. I the angel. Jehovah, you are good. Everybody. Everybody testify, you are good. I told 
Everybody, Children, yeah. mega children, yeah. children of God, yeah. beautiful children, yeah. oh mega children, yeah. will you shout hallelujah? Yeah. Will you shout hallelujah to the Lord five times hallelujah? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Say, we are children of God, yeah. children of God, yeah. children of God, yeah. beautiful children, yeah. oh mega children, will you shout hallelujah? Yeah. Shout hallelujah to the Lord five times. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. Lift his countenance upon you. And give you peace. In Jesus name. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Greatness on my side, goodness shall follow me. No matter what the matter is, somebody say my time has come. How are you? See you by 10 p.m.